Hi guys, uh, my name is Maya. I work for Tsavos Canine Rehab. I'm actually the owner. Uh, I've been in the vet business probably for, I'm going to say over 18, 20 years. And I've had the opportunity to work from ground level as um, a kennel aide, cleaning uh, cages, um, all the way up to hospital manager. And then because of issues due to my own dog, I decided to get into canine rehab. Been doing this for about eight years now absolutely adore it and because I've had a chance to work in all different facets of the veterinary world I kind of fell into this because you have such a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the dog and with the owner uh, you really have the time where sometimes uh, owners may not have enough time to really spend with the veterinarian we're able to spend uh, a longer period of time really get into depth with the history and also be able to, on, a, on occasion, really catch things that may have been missed so that we can get them back to their vet. So it allows us to be much more comprehensive. And it's so rewarding. I mean, when, when you get a kid in here that is quadriplegic, can't walk, if you have a kid that comes in here and can't use his leg, uh, whose neck pain is so incredibly uh, that they can't even stand up, uh, it's it's amazing when you start seeing them transform. It's amazing when the owner uh, really works hard with them at home. And it's not a lifetime thing that these kids are in. It's, they literally, they come in, we work hard with them, owner works hard at home, and they get to a point where they get to graduate. And they enjoy their life more, and their, their quality of life is better, they're stronger, they're more mobile, and the owners have their dog back, they have their kid back. And, um, it's amazing because sometimes we are the last resort. So uh, if you're ever considering a career, definitely dabble in a lot of different stuff in the, in the uh, veterinary and animal world if that's your interest. Uh, but do consider uh, rehab. It's an amazing uh, field and it's, it's something that is growing and is booming and is really integrating with um, Western medicine um, on a regular basis for a variety of cases. And if you ever have any questions and you're really interested in it, be, feel free to give us a call here. Um, we'll be happy to chat with you. Well, at, right after the surgery, and he told us to, to get back with him in, um, there, he, there goes. he goes, to go back. Okay. And um, he likes bacon, so it, it encourages him to eat. But he never, ever had an issue. He could eat. We figured that was normal. Is that normal? No. No. That's why I'm, I'm a little concerned, because you can see that he's moving. To let him know, okay, we're moving now. <laughs> And then after a while, he just stopped doing that, so. So we must have done something right, because you don't, you trust us, right? Poor baby, I want to. to you uh, and we left him there so now I have to clean the couch <laughs> but that's okay does he have any, any other issues at all whatsoever I mean does he have food allergies or environmental nope. allergies nothing